you all. Today's office is Yerushalmi Brachas Daf Mem Dalid. We are starting about the 11th line at the two dots. And in the Vilna Tzur Sadaf, it's Lamed Amad Aleph, five lines up for the bottom at the end of the line. And today's office sponsor, Lilu Nishmas, Mars, Miriam, Zara, Basib, Yaakov, Maisha, Her Nishama, Shadab, and Aliyah. And the Rishad said, Tfilas HaMincha V'chulu. The Gemara now discusses Mosaf and Mincha. Reb Chia says, B'Shem Rabbi Yechanan, Tfilas HaMincha U'Tfilas HaMosaf. If a person has to dive in Mincha and Mosaf, what does he dive in first? Tfilas HaMincha Kadames, Mincha comes first. That's because of the rule, Tadr Rishenu Tadr, Tadr Kadem. Whatever is done more often, we do it first. So since Mincha is daven more often than Mosaf, we daven Mincha before Mosaf. Now, Havan Bay and Maymar, they wanted to say, Kishayin Biyem Kedele Spal Shneyan. This is referring to when there isn't enough time during the day to daven both of them. So he has an option. Does he daven Mincha or Mosaf? It's all daven Mincha. Avom Yesh Biyem Kedele Spal Shneyan. But if there's enough time in the day to daven both of them, to be honest, Mosaf Kodemes, then Mosaf would come first. That's because the Chiyav of Mosaf comes before the Chiyav of Mincha. We know that Mincha is only allowed to be davened from six and a half hours into the day, whereas Mosaf is allowed to be davened the whole day already starting from the morning. And now we have a different member of B'Shem Rabbi Yechanan which clarifies this. Rabbi Zeir B'Shem Rabbi Yechanan tells us, V'afilu yesh b'yam k'day l'spal sh'tayin. He does have enough time to daven Mosaf and Mincha. Tfilas ha-Mincha k'demes, Mincha still comes first. And Rabbi Nassim Bartuvi also says, B'Shem Rabbi Yechanan, afilu yesh b'yam k'day l'spal sh'tayin. Even though there's enough time in the day to daven both Mosaf and Mincha, Tfilas ha-Mincha k'demes, Mincha comes first. As the Gemara Fatani, we have a brass that says, Hektim tfilas ha-Mincha l'tfilas ha-Musafin, if a person was mocked him and he davin mincha before Mosaf, Yatza, he's Yatze. Now, what is that mashma? L'sha'avar, in the past. Meaning, since he already davin mincha, so he's Yatze mincha. Habit chila, but that's mashma. L'chat chila, laibada. It's not so. Meaning, l'chat chila, he should be davin Mosaf before mincha. So, where it says, no problem. Pasarla could be explained as referring to, B'shulay giazman at fila, fila hasn't come yet. Now, it doesn't mean that the time of mincha hasn't come yet, because then he wouldn't be Yatze mincha. It means the time for mincha gedayla has come. It's six and a half hours into the day, so he could davin mincha. However, However, the optimal time for davening mincha is mincha ketano, which is much later. So in such a situation, when it's mincha gedayla, lechat chila, he should be davening mosa first and not mincha. Now, how do we know that a person can daven mincha at mincha gedayla? Kadal, like the following, Rabbi Shub and Levi Mifkel the Talmidov, he instructed his Talmidim, in havalochayna rison, if you have an engagement or an event to go to, as we just erusin or nisuin or brismila, umata yaim l'shis shayin, and the day has come to six hours, ad loy tuskel riston, and it's not yet time for this event. So we'm dalano and on top to have matzlin de minchasa ad loy tuskel. Gun, you should have a mincha before you go out to this event. So we see that a person could have a mincha at six and a half hours into the day. Now, continuing to explain the Mishnah, Rabbi Huda, Rabbi Huda had said, Ad plaga mincha, a person who's only allowed to have a mincha until plaga mincha. The Gemara asks, Vakamu who plaga mincha, how much is plaga mincha? And the answer is, Achasasrei Shais Chasaravia, 11 hours into the day minus a quarter, which means 10 and 3 quarter hours into the day. But now the Gemara is going to ask about mincha katana. As we had said, mincha katana is from nine and a half hours into the day all the way till the end of the day, which is 12 hours. So Tamat Taninu, and over there we learned in a Mishnah, which is a Mesechus Pesachim. Tamin Nishchat B'Shmainu Mechza. The Karmen Tamin Shalbein Arabayim was shechted at eight and a half hours into the day. The Kar of Beteshu Mechza. By the time the whole Avoda finished, and now it was time to be on the Mizbeach, it took a whole hour, so it was brought at nine and a half hours. Arab Pesachim, when it was Arab Pesach, Nishchat B'Shavu Mechza, it was shechted seven and a half hours into the day. The Kar of B'Shmainu Mechza, and it was brought at eight and a half hours into the day. And this is Bein Mechal Bein Mishabbos, whether Arab Pesach was during the week or on Shabbos. Now the reason why it was brought an hour earlier, Arab Pesach. Pesach is because the carbon Pesach was brought after the carbon Tamid. Now, Rabbi Yom Yabai, Rabbi Yom asked the following question. Haha, over here in our Brisa, at Avad Mincha Shtei Shalisu Mechza, you said that Mincha is two and a half hours long. It's from nine and a half hours into the day till the end of the day. Bahacha, and over here in this Mishnah Pesachim that we just quoted, at Avad Mincha Shalisu Shalisu Mechza, you made Mincha three and a half hours long because you said that the Tamid Shalbin Arabayim is shechted at eight and a half hours. Well, from eight and a half hours till the end of the day, that's three and a half hours for Mincha. So, Rabbi Yesi, he answers, the tefillah of Mincha is not compared, meaning it's not corresponding to the afternoon Tamid, El Lektires. Rather, it's compared to the Ketires, which is brought in the afternoon. And Matam wants the source for that, because the Pasuk says, Tikan tefillah Let my tefillah stand as Ketires before you, Mas as Kapai Minchas Arev, the lifting of my hands of the afternoon Mincha. And the way the Pasuk is being understood is, Tikan tefillah Let my tefillah be as a Ketires in front of you, and which tefillah is this that's being compared to Ketires? That is Masas Kapai Minchas Arev, referring to Mincha. Take out an hour for dealing with the carbon tamid, meaning we shech the carbon tamid, but it takes a whole hour to do Zrikas Adam and everything else that needs to be done with it. That means that the carbon tamid is only being burned on the Mizbech an hour later, and then after the carbon tamid is burned, then we bring Ketires. So now you can make Mincha two and a half hours long, because it's at nine and a half hours that the Ketires is brought, and from nine and a half hours till the end of the day is two and a half hours. Now, more about when the proper time to Dava Mincha is. 
Rabbi Yosef ben he would have a mincha with the redness of the sun, meaning just as the sun was about to set. Why is that? Kadesha all of Meir Shemayim kol ayoyim, so that he could have the fear of Shemayim on him the whole day. What do you mean the whole day? That means the whole next day. We know the Yiddishkeit, the day starts with the night, so if he davens mincha right as it's getting dark, he goes into the next day with Meir Shemayim on him. As the Pasuk says, Yira ucha im shamesh, they shall fear you with the sun. Meaning as the sun sets and the new day comes in, he brings in Yira with his tefillas mincha. And Rabbi Yosef ben Hanin, Rabbi Yosef ben Hanin said, Yehei chelki im hamispalim im dimdu mechama. My chelak should be with those that daven with the dimdu mechama, with the redness of the sun. And Matam, what's the source for this? That's because the Pasuk says, Al zais, regarding this, Yispal kal chasid lecha, let every chasid, let every pious man daven to you, l'eis metzai, at the time of metzai. Now my whole ace metzai, what does that mean at the time of metzai? At the time of the squeezing of the day, meaning as the sun is getting squeezed from the earth, it's starting to disappear, so that's when a person should dive in. And more about this, Achai the Imad Rav Ada, the brother of the mother of Rav Ada, meaning Rav Ada's uncle, Hav Metzayit, really the proper girsa is Metzayar, Hav Metzayar Gulse de Rav, he was watching Rav's cloak, Betzayma Rabba, on the great fast, meaning on Yom Kippur, meaning he was in charge of watching Rav's overgarment on Yom Kippur. Amr Le, Rav told him, when you see the sun is hitting the top of the palm trees, Tevli Gulsi, bring me my garment, Denatsli Demon Chasa, that I could have a mincha. Do you see the Rav also would have a mincha just as the sun was starting to set? Now, just as an aside, the Gemara tells us, when the sun is at the top of the palm trees over there in Bavel, it's daytime over here in Eretz Yisrael. Because Rabbi Yechon says, we have a Pasuk that tells us, the one who says to the deep, Haravi, dry. Up. And what's the deep over here referring to in the Pasuk? <laughs> Zu Bavel, that's referring to Bavel. Shehi Zu Teishel Eilam, it's the lowest part of the world. So therefore, the sun sets there before Eretz Yisrael. And now as we spoke about Bavel, we continue with that. Amar B'yechon, Rabbi Yechon says, Lo Menech Hashmat Tzula, why is Bavel called Tzula, the deep? Shesham Tzalalu Mesei Dar Mabel, because that's where all the people that died in the Dar Mabel sunk to. Tzula is a lashon of Tzalalu to sink. They sink into Bavel. And we have something similar in the Pasuk, Gam Bavel Linfal Chale Yisrael, because Bavel caused the slain of Yisrael to fall, Gam Le Bavel Naflu Chale Kal Haaretz, also to or in Bavel, the slain of the entire world fell. And more about Bavel, Ksiv, it says in the Pasuk, Vayim mm-hmm. Tzu and they found a valley, Be'eretz Shinar, in the land of Shinar, Vayesh mm-hmm. Visham, they dwelled there. And this is referring to the Dar Haflaga, and they dwelled in Bavel. Now, Amr Shlakish Shlakish says, Lomanek Shma Shinar, why is the place called Shinar? Shesham Ninaru Mesi Dar Hamabel. Because that's where all the mesim of the Dar Mabel were deposited. Shinar is a lashon of Sham Ninaru. Davarachar, something else. Shinar, what's the meaning of this word Shinar? Shehem mesim besashnuk. The people in Bavel die in anguish. Belay ner, belay merchatz. Without a lamp and without a bathhouse. Davarach, another explanation. Shinar, what's the meaning of the word Shinar? Shehen minu arin min ha They're shaken out or cleared out of mitzvahs. Beloi truma, beloi meiser. They don't have truma, they don't have meiser over there. And this is referring to the Yidin in Bavel. Davarach, another explanation. Shinar, what does that mean, Shinar? Shesareha mesim na'arim, that it's princes, it's leaders, meaning they tell me the chachamim, they die young. Davarach, another explanation. Shinar, what does it mean? Shehemida soyne ve'er la kodesh baruchu, that it stood up, meaning it produced a soyne and an er, which is an enemy and an antagonist. Antagonist to Hashem, Ve'ezen, who is that? Zen Vuchanatzar Rasha, that's Vuchanatzar. Now we just conclude this discussion about Mincha. Rav had said, Give me my cloak as you see the sun at the tops of the trees, meaning he would have a Mincha just before Shkia. But now we have a different memory. Rav, Kreb Yuda. Rav would have a Mincha like Kreb Yuda, meaning he would make sure to be Davin before Plaga Mincha. And why is that? Because he said, In Tavid Nek Rabbanon, if I go like the Rabbanon and I Davin past Plaga Mincha, Leslie Kreb Yuda might be. Kreb Yuda doesn't agree to that. But in Tavid Nek Kreb Yuda, if I go like Kreb Yuda, so if Rabbanon I do. Even the Rabbana would agree to that, and therefore I'd be going like everybody, and in a way, that's a better practice. We're going to stop here for the day and pick up tomorrow talking about Ne'ilah. For now, everyone should have a wonderful day.